Hello, in this video I would like to show you my latest painting which was inspired by questions like what is reality, who are we in this universe and what is the meaning of life. So if these kind of questions resonate with you and you are up for a short philosophical discussion then please keep watching the video. Meanwhile I will show you my latest painting as a time lapse. So far, this is my largest painting, so I am happy to present it for you. But I also feel that I would like to share my thoughts and the reason why I painted this piece. I knew that I want to paint something with the universe, but I didn't know what and I also wanted to understand that where this desire comes from. What I wanted to express in this painting is the human relationship with the universe and how everything is relative and interconnected in this vast universe. And then I was thinking, is it really vast? Do we really know that? Do we know that this is a universe or is it a possibility that there are other worlds around us but we will never be able to detect them and we are living in a multiverse? In order to detect what is around us, what is our surrounding, to understand the universe better, we need to collect light from each directions and at the moment this is the best what we can do but the problem with this is that we are limited with the speed of light suppose that an object is too far away which means that since the light left the object it didn't really have enough time to reach us we will never be able to see that object plus the universe is also expanding which means that objects are getting farther and farther from each other so also from us they are getting farther and some measurements show that this expansion of space in between the objects are actually faster than the speed of light so this means that we are inherently limited by what we can see and understand from our surrounding from the universe so if we look around and collect the light from each direction that we can then obviously we will have a sphere and this sphere is called as our observable universe this is our limit and we cannot see farther than this what we know since a few decades is that time is not absolute but it all depends on where you are and what is your speed so for example time will slow down if you travel with nearly the speed of light compared to someone who is left on earth or if you are somewhere in the universe where you are experiencing stronger gravity for example near a black hole then again time will be slowing down for you if you have seen the movie interstellar there this concept is very nicely shown in this movie a bunch of scientists travel through space and once they visit a planet which is near a black hole so gravity is much higher, much stronger and every hour that they spend on that planet corresponds to I think 7 years on Earth if you are interested in such movies I really recommend this one so time is always comparative or relative it depends where you are what is your speed what is the gravity that you are experiencing so doesn't it sound that we are living in a bubble which could be even a soap bubble coming to existence and popping up within a second but these seconds could be for us from our coordinate system seeming like 14 billion years and what could be the size and the scale of a system where such universes can come into existence? Because if I think about it, size is also kind of relative. Let's take our human size as an example. If you see it from the perspective of an atom, then we humans are just unimaginably huge giants and we didn't even talk about the particles that build up the atoms. If they look around let's say within the atom they experience huge space down there but once we scale up and go out to the universe from that scale we humans are just tiny we are practically invisible so what holds us back to think that there is another system where our universe would just fit in a soap bubble 
I realized that I would like to paint this. I would like to express this feeling on the canvas. And I actually like this challenge when I have just an image to communicate something that I feel, something that I could actually talk about, not only in this 15 minutes video, but I could talk about this for hours. So I was thinking, I would like to show a little girl who is just playing around, having fun, blowing soap bubbles, not knowing that she is creating words. And these words could be entirely different. The size can be different, the color, the rules of physics inside. The lifetime could be also different. Some of the bubbles remain there, but some of them just cease to exist after a few seconds. Maybe they could also collide with each other, creating this huge energy release, which of course would be only huge in their system, because for the girl, well, they are just soap bubbles. And then there we are. Our universe being created, being blown. There is a big bang. Space time is being created. Stars are being born. There is this expanding thin layer of soap, just like how our universe is expanding right now. So once I had this image in my mind, I wanted to create an image of this. So I did some photo manipulation in Procreate just to reach something similar that I imagined. Just to have a guide that could help me start this painting. And if you are interested in this process, how I use Procreate and how I man manipulated photos to make this painting, then please leave a comment down below because everything is recorded and if I see that there is enough demand for this, I will make a separate video for this. Also, something about this painting that I realized, it, this was my first time-lapse video that I have ever made and it was also the biggest painting that I painted so far. So what you see, the face of the girl, it was actually my second attempt. I was actually surprised that I didn't imagine that I will have this stage fright. I was doing the first version of this face. After some time I realized that I don't like it. Most probably I messed it up because I was so self-conscious what I am painting that oh my god other people will see it so now I should do it more professional or you know somehow different but, and then I, I realized okay I need more time to do this I wanna you know paint in front of other people let's say and if right now I cannot do it I still want to make a nice painting and proceed with it so for the face I actually decided to switch off the camera and do it by myself alone completely remove the first face that I was painting basically I scratched all paint that I could but some of them obviously some parts remain there and I had to put a medium thick layer of black paint so after that what you see how I paint it now it's not really how I would do it but this black paint didn't really dry first of all and I had to put many many layers it was always like see-through on the first I think two layers so on the third layer was actually good enough and once I felt that I am getting the result that I want I switched the camera back and I show you from that I didn't think that I will have this anxiety about performing in front of people and that I want to show my best but this is also a very interesting experience so yeah just a side note and once I started to do this painting, I was also many times wondering about the deep connection to the cosmos that we should feel if we would truly understand all the entanglement of the things with each other. There is this philosophical idea that there is no true separation between things and all such separations are apparent only and temporary. And I was thinking, well, it's just like the soap bubble that seemingly separates air inside it for some time, but then when it ceases to exist, the air just, you know, goes back to the space. I also like to play with the thought that whether there is absolute reality, what is reality, and how we could in any way 
have an objective idea about reality when our reality is merely an illusion, a product of our senses. Because if you think about it, we cannot really have an absolute objective look to the reality. Because what we hear or feel or see or sense Everything is basically processed by our brain. So every signal that comes to us will be processed by our brain. And this could be basically as a filter, right? Because if you just look at another animal, for example, another life form, their reality is extremely different. So Why would we say that ours are absolute? Not at all. So obviously we cannot get an idea how reality is. We always filter everything through the brain. Just like in Matrix when Neo asks about reality and surprised that humanity is in a simulation. And Morpheus answers that what is real? How do you define real? If we are talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. I love this quote and obviously there are many, many philosophers thinking about this and so much out there on this whole idea. So once we understand that there is no way to access objective reality, we could realize that we only understand a very, very thin slice of it. Practically, we don't know much about this world. And then I was thinking, what if it's a child's play? Or but what if it's a simulation? Or what if it's just a dream? You know, there are many um, ideas out there about reality and life. And I was thinking, would anything be actually different? Would this change my life? Would this change your life? Would we think about Earth or life on Earth as less meaningful? Would we feel less of a part of this cosmos? And I personally don't think so, because in the end of the day, what matters is that we are alive. What matters is life itself and to try to reach our full potential as alive. Just like every single creature on this planet wants to be the best version of what it can be, they don't want to be less or more. But the point is that we humans are really special in this way because we are blessed and cursed at the same time with consciousness excellent memory, intelligence, and imagination. So what I mean by this is that our imagination is uncomparable to any other creature we know at this moment, right, in this planet. So we do so many things. We create, we do art, we build buildings. We use science in ways that was unimaginable just decades back. We have humor, we laugh, we care about each other, we love. So we are basically the universe experiencing itself. And what I mean when I say that we are also cursed by these things, the fact that we can remember things from the past, we can worry about what happened spending our present time with worrying again and again about something that has already passed. Or we can imagine the future and be anxious about it Why we forget to enjoy the present moment. We value the concept of money so much that even when we live high standards and we have much, much more than what we need, we still want to have more than that. In order to consume excess, reach a level that is far away from our needs, not realizing that many times what we are exchanging for this is our time and energy, the most valuable thing that we can have. And this excess consumption is exchange for our environment, our earth where we live on. And of course, the issue of sacrificing a vast amount of your life for more money cannot be compared to the problem of poverty. 
the fact that never before in human history society was able to live on the high level of safety, comfort and health that we are experiencing in the western part of the world and at the same time never before in human history the gap between poor and wealthy was this large. Would it be exaggerating to say that the wealth of the world was never before so unfairly distributed than right now? That social differences and social injustice have never been to such an extent? So why we think about the surrounding as resource, or not even the surrounding but other people as resource? Why we lost the connection with the universe, the cosmos? Why we don't feel united with everything else around us? We lost the understanding, or maybe we understand, but we lost the feeling that everything around us are deeply and inherently interconnected. The existence of one cannot be without the other. So I personally think that the feeling of unity is more important than ever. The painting is a reminder of this and the, also the reminder that we are not in control. And yes, maybe life, maybe this whole thing, this whole world is just a child's game. And maybe it's not too serious, but in the end of the day, this is all what we have. So what do you think about these questions? Did you ever think about the meaning of life or what is this universe? What is reality? Please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, just press the like button and subscribe if you are interested in more art-related content, sometimes a bit spiced with some philosophy. Thank you for watching and see you soon.